caving in. Senator Rick Scott joins me now. Good morning, Senator. Uh, I know the point of the ad Good morning. is to call out woke socialism, but you also make a point to call out Senator Mitch McConnell. Looks like a clear split in the party in the Senate. What say you? Well, as you know, I ran for Republican leader against Mitch McConnell because I believe we need to have a new direction. We've got to keep caving into the Democrats. Two weeks before we have a Republican House, all right, we allowed an omnibus bill that we had no opportunity to read, three times the size of the Bible. We, we had to vote on it within two days. A pass with 7,500 earmarks. We shouldn't be doing this. So I believe we've got to have another a new direction. We've got to figure out how do we balance a budget? How do we make government accountable? How do we hold the executive branch accountable? How do we act like Republicans? We have a Republican Party out in, in America. Let's get one in D.C. that doesn't waste your money every day. How are you going to do this? I'm going to keep working on it every day. I'm going to tell my story. I put out a plan. Uh, it's got, you can go to rescueamerica.com of my ideas of how we change the country. Balance the budget. Start making sure we have a, a strong military, not a woke military. Make sure we, 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 just, we can't keep spending money like this. And when we pass a bill, let's actually make sure it does what it says it's going to do. We passed a, a CHIPS bill. We're supposed to be anti-China. It's not anti-China. These companies can continue to, to build chips in China and still do business in China. Don't have to stop if they invade Taiwan. We need to have bills that are accountable. We talk about these things when we run. Let's do these things when we govern. Okay. Next case. The White House is calling out Florida's handling of the migrant crisis. Watch this, please. We have seen Governor DeSantis do political stunts. Uh, that is how he, how he perceives to fix uh, the, uh, this issue from Florida, all right? And, uh, and he takes, uh, you know, he, we're talking about people who are coming from, from countries who are dealing with um, political strife, who are dealing with uh, issues uh, where they're, they're trying to find asylum, and he treats them like pawns. And so we have called that out over and over again, and we will continue to do that. She's saying that the governor of Florida is engaging in political stunts. You're the, Florida from, uh, you're the senator from Florida. What's your response? I've been working with the uh, sheriff, Rick Ramsey, from the Keys. We had a call with the uh, commandant of... Uh, the Coast Guard, Linda Fagan, say, what can you do, Admiral Fagan, what can you do to have more interdiction? I talked to Secretary Mayorkas yesterday. What are you going to do to stop this? This is, this is just as a result of Biden's appeasement of dictators in Latin America. He doesn't hold anybody accountable and an open border. And so this is the federal government's responsibility. They need to start showing up and doing their job. Uh, I mean, this is this is it's an unbelievable number of people are coming uh, in, into Keys. We don't we don't have the infrastructure. The sheriff doesn't have the manpower, and the you know border custom and border patrol doesn't have enough people down there. Wonderful people do, running custom and border patrol, but but they don't have the resources to do this. So the federal government they've created this this appeasement of the Castro regime. Uh, allow, you know, just, we're seeing more people coming to, to Florida than ever. By the way, we, there is more people that have left, left Cuba in the last 12 months than yeah. came in the Mario boat lift. So it's, it, the, the federal government is just, they're doing nothing. Yeah, it's, it's out of control. That is the truth. But, Senator, thanks very much for taking time out for, to be with us today. It's always appreciated, sir.